New Bassmasters Classic releases from Daiwa, X Zone, Lucky Craft, and Owner, plus the largest Mega Bass restock we've ever done. We're calling it Mega Bass Madness, including a double dose of limited edition respect drop. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What is up my friends? Welcome back to what's new this week at The Hookup Tackle. I am Ben, the Tackle Taku on Instagram. Being joined once again by my buddy Jeffrey the King. I know you miss me. Dude, it has been a while it since has. we have done this together. Thank yeah. you for holding down the fort for yeah. me last week. Absolutely, you know I, did, I did terrible. You did excellent. I'm gonna drink to that. Would you like to drink to that? Oh, what, what are, are they, they, huh? They're super cold. Are they cold? And delicious. Hmm. Tell me you want one. <laughs> Are you gonna drink with me? Uh, this is like my birthday. You're gonna drink. That's that's a yes. Is that maybe is always yes? Is that what okay, that means? stand by. Okay. Holy shit. This is happening, guy. Here, let me do it the Japanese way. Let me open it for you. You can open it for me. Yeah. Wow. I'll pour it in your mouth too. Here, give uh, me your okay. mouth. Oh, here, I'll just give you the can. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, he's actually drinking. <laughs> Cheers. Nobody's gonna believe it. Ah. Uh. Cheers. And. You know, it's one of the very few beers that I actually like. That aftertaste is actually really nice. It's delicious. That's crazy. It tastes like vacation, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. Yeah. We're on vacation, Jeff. <laughs> you and me. Beer drinking buddies. Who knew? This video's not going to get done tonight for both fucking... <laughs> Dude, I don't even care about the video Dude. more. I'm so excited. You want to go for sushi or something? Low we're key? on a date? Yeah. You and me? <laughs> yeah. We're kind of on a date now. All right, I don't even know what we're doing. Anyway. Yeah. All right, guys, this is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle, where we highlight new product drops as well as important restocks so you guys can stay on top of the game. So here is the scoop. Literally the biggest Mega Bass shipments ever. And I say shipments because it's literally been pallet after pallet after pallet. We have never been so stocked with Mega Bass. So if you are a Mega Bass fan, this is the time to browse. This is the time to grab stuff. Almost everything is in stock. So we're going to highlight a lot of the restocks. Some key items come back in, but we are going to kick off Mega Bass Madness with the latest respect drop. This is a limited edition respect drop. Now, not only are we doing a limited edition respect drop, okay. Jeff. Yeah. What are we doing? We're doing a double dose. We are doing a <laughs> double limited edition oh respect drop because you know what? Yeah? You're drinking with me. And that deserves to be celebrated. Wow, you're really letting the people have it. You're giving it to That's them. That's crazy. How's it feel? Dude, the bots are gonna double down this. <laughs> There's gonna be so many bots involved. So, here we go. I don't even wanna, you know what? I, I do wanna show it because okay. I do wanna touch these. Yeah. But before we do, why Wait don't you enjoy your Orion okay. and create us something amazing, okay. Jeff? Yeah. Okay? Are you ready, everyone? Here we go. Double respect drop. Take it, Jeff.
All right, excellent job, Jeff. Yeah. Oof, give me uh, a high five, dude. Uh, yeah. The Orion really helps, you know? Dude, it really kind of controlled your nerves. <laughs> you were very, very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. <laughs> so, of the two colors, which, which is your fave? Uh, the, the moss. Really? I like the moss. Okay, well, let's start there because I know some things that you probably overlooked, and, and I'm oh. really excited about a couple okay. of these. Okay. So, here we go. GG. Moss Ore, okay? So, GG Moss Ore is a throwback color. This bait was actually, or this color, was actually originally made in an X55, which is a trout bait, hmm. right? And it was designed to be a super, super natural bait fish pattern for trout. Bass fishermen begged for it because it's a very, very special of, it's got that you know, guanine finish, right? Where you get all that kind of shad scales, that GG. But it's a fully transparent kind of moss green back. So what happens when that light hits it, it just gets this beautiful silhouette through it. And it's got just a very, very faint orange belly. So it's got all the perfect colors. You get kind of two in one look with this bait. It's super dope. Very, very rare. It has never been made in most of these items. So let's run through this. I know you just did such a good job, but I want to touch them. EdoVision 110 is available on that. Now, you guys probably noticed that there is a lack of 110 Junior mm. this round. So Mega Bass is mixing it up a little bit. They're going to introduce some specific new items per color based on what that color is. So pay attention. Deep X 100. Okay, available in that guy. Of course, the Pop X. Okay, Live X Revenge. This is one of my favorite baits in the line. Probably one of the least utilized baits in the line. X80 Junior. Of course, the Pop Max. Always looks great in a Pop Max, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. We got an X70. Griff is going to be super stoked. A Vision 95. So this is unusual. A Vision Q Go 95. So the 95, you guys aren't familiar with the 95. 95 was designed to have a kind of off balance movement to it. So when you jerk it and you pause it, when it comes to a pause, it will have this little side to side kind of shimmy. It's a really unique bait, very cool. So 95, SRX Griffin. That's what I got in here. Vibration X Dyna? Dude, that's sick. That thing is dope. Yeah, super small. The first time a Vibration X Dyna has been done in a respect, so that's dope. These are 51 millimeters, 3 eighths of an ounce. A Flap Slap LBO. Again, this is not one that's done very often in that. And then, Jeff, I saved this one for last. 12 total baits. X80 Rocket Darter. Now, this is a super throwback. Now, not only is this a throwback, the packaging is throwback as well, hmm. okay? okay? Now, you're probably too young to remember this, but one of my favorite things about Mega Bass Baits when I first started carrying Mega Bass Baits was reading the Lost in Translation. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Would you please read for me the <clears throat> last line on that box? The last line on the box. Uh, it looks like custom cosmetic by hand job. That's right. It... Painted by hand job, baby. Uh, right here. Hand job. Hand job. Paint. Hey. This bait got a hand job. It must That's have been what messy. I'm saying. This is a lucky sucker. So there you go. Super dope. So there you go. <laughs> GG Moss Ore. I'm still for that. I'm glad you um, like that color. What? Do you think they know now, years later, like this is just a very funny line, so we're going to keep it on the packaging? They have to. Have because to, right? they they changed the packaging. Right. Because once word got out that that's what <laughs> that meant, they changed their packaging. So if you look at some of the new packaging now, right, like this looks the same as this. Right. Right? But this is the new style. So now it says Mega Bass Custom Cosmetic. <laughs> right? So they changed, they took uh, hand job out of it. <laughs> but when I saw this and I saw that it was still in the old school packaging, I was like, hallelujah, this is amazing. So finally, made by hand job <laughs> once again. I didn't think I'd ever see that again. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, Gigi Masor. Okay, moving on. 
I liked this color. Better. I know you do. I mean, I love Gigi Mossor, but you know I'm a sucker for clear things. For right? some odd reason. Because they eat the thing. Now, Cyber Illusion. Okay? Now, Cyber Illusion is also a color that originally came from trout. Hmm. Believe it or not. So they wanted to create a very clear, natural, transparent bait. When they made this for area trout fishermen, so that would be like pond trout fishermen, the bass dudes lost their shit. They're like, we need that bait. So this is a very rare bait of A, being completely clear, but then it has the illusion clear coat on it. So you're gonna get that kind of bluish, purple, greenish hue that transfers on the back. You get this little bit of hit on the eye just a touch of pink on the tail. And remember, they're gonna probably see just looking up, right? Dude, it's just sexy as hell. So there you go, Cyber Illusion. So this guy is available in a 110. Now, this color, once the Bass guys asked for it, Mega Bass did make it in quite a few baits, but it was only kind of a very short little burst of a run. So it hasn't been done in a lot of these baits ever, like this guy. And then a lot of them, it hasn't been done in a really long time. So this is gonna be a super collectible one as well. So available in a 110, of course in a Pop X, dude with the pink tail, right? That's just stupid. So good. Pop Max, again, with the pink tail. All right, here's where it gets fun. SRX Griffin. A Kawaii slide sinker. So this is kind of the walk the dog slightly under the water kind of bait. Stoked that they did it in this guy, a giant dog X. I love wow. clear topwater baits. Dude, that thing is gonna get munched. That's major. Yeah, that's sick. An X70, again, so back-to-back -back X70. This is kind of throwing homage to, you know, the trout. Also an X80 Junior. So I guarantee you Griff has both of those already. Mm -hmm. A Griffin Zero. So remember the Griffin Zero is gonna be kind of the wake version of the Griffin. So really finessey, 45 millimeters, quarter ounce. Another Vibration X Dyna. Dude, this is just filthy. Yeah. This is gonna catch everything that swims by it. That one's kinda dope. Check this out. An ORC Burning Shack. So they've done respect series in ORCs, mm -hmm. but never yet in a burning shad. Yeah. So the first one we see in a burning shad. So the burning shad is a smaller version. You can fish it very fast if you want to, or slow. It can go either way. And then finally, the SRX Quiet Griffin. Whoa. So, yep. So you're not gonna hear anything in there but the hook. So you get a completely quiet bait to go with the clear. So there you go. Dual, double, Respect limited edition drops. Now make sure if either of these colors speak to you guys, make sure you grab these very quick. Respect always flies out of here. So, you know, stop what you're doing, go grab these, then come back and drink with not just me, <laughs> both of us today. Something there's this is a weird day, Jeff. I think it's gonna be a lucky day though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good about it. I like so this. there you go. Two amazing colors, go get them. All right, let's fly through some of these restocks. So there's so much, but there's a lot of important things. So if you guys are jerkbait fans, 110s, 110 juniors, 110 plus ones, right? All back in stock, all the key colors, GLX Spawn Cherry, Northern Secret, plus ones, plus twos, LBOs, all back in stock, right? All the colors. Now, I saved this one because I wanted to take this one out. This is a color. I like to highlight some of the sleeper colors, mm. right? The under the radars, mm. right? We started doing this uh, a couple years back and some guys have really discovered some amazing colors like SBOB Shad, right? Wagin IU. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this color is, you know, obviously everybody knows that bass like silver, they like shiny. This is a very natural bait fish pattern. It's got that great kind of silver sides. It has a pearl belly. It's got that very natural kind of greenish back. But what's amazing about Wagina U is that this is quintessential like mega bass painting. This is fully transparent. So it may look shiny to you here, but once you hold it up to the light, it's fully transparent and it looks just like a little baby bass or a little baby shad. 
it's it's absolutely beautiful. So they absolutely crush this color in clearer water when you need just a little bit of body. You got a bright sunny day. This can be a great option for you. So Joaquin IU returns. It also returns in the Edo Shiner. And we also get the Edo Shiner back in all colors, including my favorite, the GLX Galaxy Shiner. Yeah, I'll just take it out. It's been a while since we've talked about this guy. This is a spring staple. So you need this in your box if you fish anywhere where the fish feed on bluegills or perch, any type of panfish. So GLX Galaxy Shiner is just one of the most natural looking panfish colors. It's fully transparent, even though it's got a lot of you know, body to it. So similar to Wagin IU, it's got flash, it's got color, it's got stripes, but it's fully transparent. So, you know, when it's up in the light, it breaks that profile down. It's just super natural. So, you know, great time to stock up, but all the colors on Shiners are back as well. All right, some more restocks. We see a pretty good supply of the X Nanahan return. Now we see some in the plus one, some in the regular version, but a lot of the key colors like Kasumi Ito, GG Baby Perch. If you guys don't remember the X Nanahan, this is a, a new bait that Mega Bass has put on the market, uh, designed to be a downsized version of basically of a 110. It's gonna have a very similar action to the original 110, but in a small version, right? So just to spec it out for you guys, 75 millimeters, quarter ounce. It does have weight transfer in it, so it casts it very well. So if you guys have been waiting on any of these, those return. We also see a big restock in crankbaits. So starting with kind of a crankbait jerkbait hybrid, the flap slap and the diving flap slaps all return. So all the key colors, so wild crawl, MB gizzard, so on and so forth. This is a great early spring, like pre-spawn when the water's really cold and the fish needs something very natural that's going to flash top to bottom without having a lot of big, loud movement to it. Sometimes those fish kind of move up in the shallows. They know they should be there, but they're still a little kind of sketch, right? And sometimes you throw something that's too loud or too big, it freaks them out and they bail. So the flap slap's a great one for those times when you can throw it out there. Again, you can wind it, you can sweep it, you can pop it. But instead of the bait having a big side to side movement, the way it's built, it's gonna have this top to bottom flash. So it's gonna have a lot of this kind of top to bottom flash, similar to a big M, so it gets movement without being intrusive. It's a great one. So those all return. We see a full restock in the brand new Super Z3 crankbait, right? So this is the new size. This is our third stock. All colors are back, at least at this moment, right? All the new crawl patterns, the shad patterns like Asumi Ito, so on and so forth. So if you guys have been waiting on a super small bait, three eighth ounce, but you get that true three meter dive, so that 12 to 15 foot dive, super dope. Those all return. We also see a lot of the kind of hard to get colors in some of the Deep X series. So things like a leggy bone, wild craw, MB gizzard, you know, a lot of these colors have been trouble. Those all return. Deep sixes return as well. So colors like Ito Wakasagi, SB Shadow Craw. Now I pulled out SB Shadow Craw because you know, I mentioned earlier SBOB Shad. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's one of our favorite colors and really kind of an under the radar color for a really long time. Same with SB Shadow Craw. So a lot of people look at this bait and they go, ah, it's just kind of a clear, transparent craw. But this is the same thing as SBOB Shad, right? As this thing moves and flashes, you get that little hit of orange on the underbelly and it's just a very natural craw pattern, right? Instead of it being just the solid orange that never kind of leaves, you get this very kind of natural look down there on the water. So if you guys catch them good on the SP Shad, this would be a great one to add to your lineup for a little bit deeper water. That's SP Shadow Crawl on the Deep Six and those return this week as well. All right, while we are on crankbaits, all the colors return in Vibration X Ultra. Now this is an amazing lipless bait, one of our favorites. All the key colors, Stealth Crawl, Echolate. You know what? I'm feeling like this one today with you drinking beer with me, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. See that heart? A little heart. Yeah. <laughs> Just you and me, baby. We're on a date. Vibration X Vitalians also return in all the key colors. So GP Baby Gill, McGawkin Gill, Akatora, Matt Tiger, 
right? Both in the slow float and the slow sink. So this is a very lifelike bluegill pattern. As you guys know, super realistic, very small. You can just fish it like a crankbait, like a lipless. Get the slow float. If you guys are fishing around grass or vegetation, you need to kind of tick it and then pause and have it come back up. Get the slow sink. If you're fishing around rock, a little bit deeper water, you can bang it around down there. So those are all back. Full size Vitalians back in all the colors. So if you guys have been waiting on any of those, those are back. This is a great, I think people will misunderstand this bait a lot. I can see that. A lot of people come in thinking it's a glide bait mm -hmm. and you can kind of give it some kind of jerks, almost like a jerk bait and get it to kind of have a real tight little glide. But really this is a lipless bait. It's just a big lipless that looks a lot like a bluegill crappie perch, panfish, right? So all you really need to do with this thing is just cast and wind it and it's gonna have all its action built in. It's got a lot of flash and movement side to side. So those all return. You topwater guys, all the pot max, all the key colors are back. So if you guys have been waiting on anything, Matt Shad, Wild Gill, Bahama Milk Pearl, those all return as well. Jeff, some swim baits come back. The some, best color ever made. Some key colors. <laughs> I love this color. color. Don't you that love this color? So yeah. So, you know, I'm a sucker for Matt. We talk about that a lot. So, Hasu returns. Tioikawa, we've talked about it probably, I don't know, six times in six months At because least. we get them in, they fly out, we get them in, they fly out. So, those are back. So, if you guys missed out, it's just a great, clear, transparent, can be anything bait. Trout, bass, shad, it could be anything. So, if you guys have been waiting, this is a great time to be throwing a big glide. They smoke it as the fish start moving up and pre-spawn and spawn. So there you go, those return. All right, keeping up with the restocks. Some restocks in the rock hog. Now the three inch size is our best selling size. This is the size that's great for free rig. You can use it as a jig trailer. You can also burn this on the top of the water. Use it like a you know soft bodied toad or a buzz frog, works great. Jeff and I crushed them on this guy on a free rig up in Michigan last year when they first came out. We also see a new color come out and this is a special color. So you get a clear black with some red flake, pretty dope color. So there you go. If you guys have been waiting on rock hogs, those all return. We also see a massive restock in SV3 spinnerbaits. Again, it feels like we get these every few weeks and they just fly out of here. So have you guys been waiting? Double willow, slow roll, pretty much all the colors, those return as well. If you guys are still in blade bait season, we see a huge restock in all the Dyna responses. So all those return as well. If you guys are fortunate enough to live somewhere warm <laughs> like us, it's probably almost buzz bait season or maybe it's already buzz bait yeah. season for you. So all the Jamaica boas return, all the big gabbets return, right? So all the key topwater baits also back in stock. All right, massive, massive restock in Magdrass. Have you been watching the classic? Uh, a little bit, and I see that that lure is getting bit out there. You think? You think they eat a 110 <clears throat> or a six inch Magdraft at all? Eh, they might a little bit. I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> needs to have them, right? So we see a huge Magdraft restock. I'm starting with the big guy, Jeff, because yeah. I know you like big guys. I like big guys. I know, I know. Made by hand job, Jeff. Eight inch also return. So we see all the key colors, uh, bound of pearl shad, white back shad, and a massive six inch restock, right? That's that's the key one. So a bound of pearl shad, white back shad, silver shad, you know, biwaka wakasagi, all the key colors, right? Everything returns this week from Mega Bass. All right, and while we are on paddle tails, we see a full, Resupply, finally, thank you to the Spark Shad lineup. So three inch, four inch, five inch, all the colors return. You guys know that we're huge fans of Spark Shads. The three inch is great on a little Kashira Screwhead, which also are back in stock. Five inch is my favorite. Rig it up on a Weighted Beast or something like that. It falls like a Senko, has a great swim. Four inch is an amazing one on a jig head, an underspin, a rig. So all those return. We see a huge restock as well in Hazardongs. So both the three inch and the 4.2, so if you guys have been waiting on Hazardong Shads, a lot of the key colors are back. Colors like Ghost Shad, uh, Green Pumpkin Shad, right? Green Pumpkin Chartreuse, all return. And we also see probably the biggest restock we've ever done in 
Dark Sleepers. So Dark Sleepers return. Now, do you see that Mega Bass teased the final official release of the Sleeper Gill? I did. Yes, so we posted that yesterday. Sleeper Gill is scheduled to arrive in June. We're getting tons of questions about it, even though it says it's arriving in June. <laughs> People are still asking, when's it coming, right? So June on the Sleeper Gill, as soon as we know for sure a firm ETA, we will put up a pre-order for you guys. But I just hate doing pre-orders when there's so many things still up in the air with shipping and logistics and the state of the world. Jeff drinking <clears throat> beer, <clears throat> right? right? and fly fishing in the same week? Yeah. What is happening to you? Life is, uh, life's getting to me now. All right, and then tons of rods to talk about, but before we get to that, hats, you'd look good in this camo <coughs> in orange, <laughs> Jeff, I? now. <laughs> Thank you. Camo trucker, blackout trucker. The classic. Yeah, there so you go. those are all back now. You may have seen that Mega Bass teased some new colors of hats too. There's a new navy one. There's some pretty dope ones coming. We should see those next week. So pay attention. Even though this is a huge Mega Bass week, you're not gonna wanna miss next week either. Okay, so some really cool stuff coming. But all the classics, those are back. And now for the interlude. <laughs> so we are gonna dive through some Mega Bass rods, but before we do, let's highlight a few other things. I mean, I guess there's some other brands. I guess I, f I forget about that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you need some other stuff every once in a while. So, you know, it is a crazy world. Okay. Fortunately, mm -hmm. most of the restrictions and, you know, things are being lifted. Yeah. And we can breathe without having anything in front of our faces again. Yeah, that's nice. But, you know what? Sometimes you still need a mask. And when you do, I fully endorse <clears throat> the Gancraft G mask. I've seen you wear those a lot. This is the best mask ever. I hate masks. I know you do. They're very frustrating. But I also wear glasses, and all of you that wear glasses, you probably feel my pain. If you have the wrong mask, it is impossible to wear a mask <laughs> and glasses and a hat at the same time. Shit just doesn't work, right? So this is the one I use. It's a fully redesigned, it's a little bit softer material. So if you guys want a mask that's a black so it's cool and it has a jointed claw on it <laughs> you know hey it's cool so those return all right let's talk reels this is pretty exciting so you and i saw these at icast this was a huge deal for dial this is the ballistic mqlt now we see four sizes we see a 1000 a 2500 a 3000 and a 4000 come out in this guy let's just take out a 2500 now What's cool about this is the ballistic has always kind of been positioned as a, you know, like $200-ish reel, right? But MQ technology has not been available in any of their quote-unquote price point reels because it's really hard to manufacture. So it's only been something that's been available in some of their higher end. So now we see it trickle down into ballistic and what that's going to do do you think it would be this complicated to take a reel out of a box? No. I mean, I have had half of an Oreo. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here is a look at the brand new 2500 Ballistic MQ-LT. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice the MQ frame. And what that means, this monocoque frame, is basically this piece right here. You can see how large this kind of gear set is here. The monocoque body is a one piece body. So traditionally with spinning reels, these things are kind of built in multiple pieces, right? And then they kind of put them together and they screw them in place. If you look at any of your older spinning reels, they're gonna have random screws in different places, right? Kind of holding it all together. The monocoque body eliminates the need for those screws. So because they don't have to have room for the screws going in, they can put a much larger gear in there. What that does, is it just gives you a butter smooth feel. It gives you extra strength. So if you guys, you know, strength in bass fishing with spinning reels, not really that big of a deal, right? It's not like we're using spinning reels to haul fish out of cover, but if you guys are fishing, you know, maybe redfish or snook or something, you know, more inshore or flats or something like that, you can take this reel out there. You can have all the power that you're gonna need. 
fully mag sealed so everything is encased with a magnetic oil so if water ever comes in that magnetic oil pushes it out so you don't really need to worry about maintenance and lubing butter butter smooth drag i mean dial is famous for just you know super smooth so really excited jeff feel it super lightweight whoa yeah. yeah so it weighs nothing it's made out of dio's zion material so really stoked to get them in so again they're going to be right in that 200 dollars price range 229 somewhere in there am i right carmen yeah. i'm right as usual so there you go if you guys have been waiting the brand new ballistic mqlt from Daiwa available now all right, while Daiwa sent us those, I know a lot of you guys have been very patient on restocks of Zillions. The USA Zillion, the SV T-Wing G, back in stock in all gear ratios. So if you guys have been waiting, those all return as well this week from Daiwa. Jeff, when you flip, yep. do you flip a straight shank hook or an EWG style hook? Straight shank is what I've gone over to. Why? Uh, I just feel like I get better hookup, and I feel like it keeps the bait on there a little bit better. So, this is a big kind of debate, right, in the flipping, punching world. Do we use a straight shank? Do we use an EWG? All right. The advantage of the straight shank is nothing hooks them like a straight shank. Uh, There's just nothing them. in the way, and you get them. The advantage of an EWG is sometimes the bait just sits better on it, mm. right? So, owner use their minds, right? And they said, what if they could just mate and have a baby? I see. Right? I bring you the Haymaker hook. So this is an EWG style hook designed to replace your straight shank. Okay, and I see the confusion. There's a face. lot. Yeah. Yes. I... Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take one. Let's take one out. Now these are gonna be available. These are available in size one aught through five aught. Okay, they are going to be made out of nano coat on there, that Zo wire. So you can see that, see that crazy bend I see. on there? Okay. So it's designed to hold the bait the same way an EWG would hold it, but when you set the hook, it's going to give you the same hook penetration that a straight shank would. So a little crazy gap, trying to bridge the gap between the two. So if you find yourself in that position where you're like, man, I, I love my EWG, but I just love the hookup ratio of a straight shank, this could be the solution for you. It's also a little bit shorter than a traditional sh straight shank would be, right? So there you go, just another hook option. And again, you know, we love choices, right? We love options. So again, might be worth checking out, but that is the brand new Haymaker hook from owner, available now. All right. New product drop from X-Zone, Bassmaster's classic release. This is the Hot Shot Minnow. Now, you don't hear us talk about X-Zone very often. No. Okay. But this bait, probably more than any of these baits that I'm talking about this week, people have been looking for. Hmm. I don't know why. So X-Zone, if you are listening, whatever you have done has worked out incredibly well. People are listening. People are paying attention. So there you go, the Hot Shot Minnow. This is a new drop shot bait designed by Brandon Polnick. Now, it has this little kind of hollow area in the head there that is designed to keep the bait positioned perfectly on your hook so that it doesn't kind of wrap around on a nose hook. That can be very frustrating when you have a small little nose hook that your bait sometimes, you, you hit them and they come up and they jump and you lose them and it's because your bait has wrapped on that hook. So they designed this specifically to eliminate that happening so you can fish it with confidence. They've got a bunch of great colors. It's super finessey. Smells great, right? It's like all Exxon lures. So if you guys have been looking for this, I know they put a ton of press out there. These guys are available now. Carmen, $4.99, $4.99 a pack, available now. All right, then moving on to Jeff's favorite drop shot bait. Oh. Yep, the Nico Bates Helgramite. Oh, that thing. Don't deny it. Yeah. Brand new color release in this as well. You see the release of Black Aurora. Now, do you know where this color came from? This where is a really does nice it... natural color. I kind of like it. Yeah. This color was made famous by your other favorite oh. drop shot bait, 
Good lord. The octopus. Not that thing. Now, remember when we brought these octopus in a couple weeks ago, and you thought I was nuts? Yes. And you thought everybody from Nico was nuts, because I asked Nico, what's the best drop shot bait? And they go, the octopus. And I go, what the fuck are they talking about, an octopus? It's so sick. And of course, they sold out, right? So here you go. If you guys have been waiting on octopus, those return. The Black Aurora New Color in the Helgramite is back. And then we also did a restock in the limited edition colors in the leeches as well. So a lot of you guys missed out on the new chartreuse and the new magma color. So if you were looking for any of those, those are in this week. Is it octopuses or octopi? Oh, it's definitely octopuses. <laughs> All right. New kind of from Lucky Crow. <laughs> what does that even okay. mean? Okay. It means it's not new. Okay. But it's new. <clears throat> Make sense? Yeah, I got it now. One of the best baits Lucky Craft ever made. They discontinued like a decade ago. The KJ Flat. Now this is a flat-sided crankbait, circuit board lip. People crushed it on this thing and it disappeared. So Lucky Craft finally revitalized this thing. Now, it's only in four colors, but they're great colors. So you see BE Gill, BP Golden Shiner, Pearl Threadfin Shad, T.O. Craw. Okay, so you get the four color solutions there. Now, how many flat side crankbaits do you need? Uh, right? It seems like we need more. Is it getting to that point? <clears throat> what this guy is gonna do that the other flat sides aren't doing in your lineup right now, is you'll notice when this guy swims through the water, it has a slower pitch to it. So a lot of flat sides are designed to be tight and fast, and you'll see them wobbling really, really tight. This guy is tight, but it's a slower tight. It's just a different pitch, it's a different action, the fish love it. It's a proven fish catcher. Wish it came back out in 40 different colors, but you know what? I'll take the four that we got. So if you guys have been looking for this, a lot of you guys probably didn't even know this was a bait because it's been so long. Like Jeff, he's shaking his head. Right. But a lot of you guys more in, you know, the good generation. Right? You don't want to say not old. Like, huh? Not like you. I'm not old, Jeff. Aren't you like 65 or something? Okay, relax there, guy. <laughs> hey, zip it. Okay, I hate all of you. Love you guys. Don't laugh. Fuck you guys. A bunch of bitches around here. Made by hand job. That made me feel better. Here we go. Back in stock. All right. We also see, in addition to the LC 1.5 lineup, with the introduction of the DD DRS. So they've had the 1.5, the LC 1.5 DD, which is the deep diving version of the 1.5. So it's 60 millimeters, half ounce. This is gonna be a true like eight to 10 foot diver. Right, you get that deep rattling sound. Again, only four colors, but they're key colors. Chartreuse shab, pearl thread fin shab. BP Golden Shiner and BE Gill in that guy. So if you guys are looking for just a great bait to just kind of run the bank, bang around the rocks, those are in as well. And then of course, you know, we all love the LV500. So every time we do a good size restock, I'll let you guys know. So if you guys have been looking for any key colors, Spring Craw, Golden Shiner, Pearl IU, right? Live Threadfin Shad, all back in stock this week from Lucky Craft. All right, Jeff, and before we jump over to Rods, let's finish up baits with your style of yeah, bait here. Yeah, talk okay? to me nice. Let's talk about some slide swimmers. So Ooh. Depths has revamped all of their slide swimmer lineup, mm -hmm. right? Started in the 250, then it went to the 145, then the 115, <laughs> and then the Forgotten Child, the 175, now re-releases in the new body style. So this is with the new stabilizer fins, and the bottom is with that internal knock, Right, so you get all these great things. A lot of people have been asking me about that internal knock because I, I keep talking about it. So inside all of these baits, there's a spring-loaded weight, and we've shown it to you guys in the Slide Swimmer, we've shown it to you in the Silent Killer. They've incorporated it into some of their hard baits too, like the Pulse Cod, right? But inside is a, a knocking weight. You can hear it here. Right, it's just sitting on a spring. But what's amazing about it is, you know, obviously you can hear this, but when you stop the bait, the bait vibrates, right? So you hit it and you hear that visual, that, you know, that, that sound, 
but the bait is vibrating in my hand. So the idea is, is as this bait's moving and that weight is vibrating in there, it's just putting a pulse out into the water. Is it mimicking a heartbeat, which a lot of people believe? Is it mimicking, you know, fins moving or whatever? Who knows? But it's putting something out there that's designed to draw the fish in. So super excited to get these in. There's some great colors, blueback herring. We see some, there's still some Japanese rainbow trout I see over there, chartreuse back oikawa, you know, glitter carp, there's ghost ketahasu. So there's all kinds of great colors in these. So if you guys have been looking for just a great option for a swim bait that isn't too big, right? Something in that kind of two ounce range that you can throw on some mid-size swim bait stuff. The new 175 is dope. Those are available now from Depths. All right, and then finally, let's wrap it up right here with our friends at Bait Sandy. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about the Explorer gills, Jeff. So, Dark Bluegill is back in stock. This guy flew out of here when we released it a couple weeks ago. These guys are back now. I'm gonna take this out because this is gonna be really important for the next item that's coming. And this is something that we've been super stoked about. If you guys follow Bait Sanity at all, on Instagram or social media, you will have, I don't know if you paid attention to it, but they've made some really great posts of some giant fish caught on this gill. All right, so there's a look at the dark gill. Now, these Explorer gills come with a tail on them. They're designed out of the package to be a gliding tail, right? But if you guys have paid any attention, there has been a new tail that they have been prototyping for a while that has an amazing action under the water. This thing looks killer. It really adds to what the bait can do. Now we see the official launch. This is the Atom Tail. This is the Hatch Match 3.0 Atom Tail. Now, what is what's the first thing that comes to mind, Jeff? <clears throat> Inappropriate things. Okay. Inappropriate for who? Not this audience. Mm. Ben's yes. Christmas gift. Hell yeah. 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 Let's bring that. Let's bust that sucker out. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So here's what we got. So we have a different tail, right? That has obviously this huge ball on the end of it, right? Now, what this ball does is it gives the bait a totally different action when you see it under the water. It moves completely different. You get a very different vibration out of this thing. Now, what Bait Sandy wanted to make sure they did is they wanted to make sure they built this thing durable. So inside this entire tail is this kind of meshy material. So everything is attached to mesh and it ends up kind of splitting at the end to give it a lifelike look. So if you were to pull this thing out, everything is still attached by mesh. So it's super, super durable. But you can now just attach this tail to the end of your gill and give it a completely different look if you want to. So excited to have these in here. Now, I highly recommend you guys keeping your tails in these packages that they come in. The clamshells are perfectly built for them. So they will keep the tail straight because as with any tail, and this, is, this goes for any of these brands, right? Whether it's Bait Sandy, whether it's a Mega Bass spare tail, Gancraft spare tail, you want to make sure that your tails are always straight because the tail is a critical, critical part of that bait being able to move accurately. If it bends or kinks, it's never going to get the right glide. So make sure you keep them in the clamshells. Don't take it out and chuck it out, right? Because you might want to go back and forth from this tail to the paddle tail to this tail. And that's one of the great things about the Bait Sandy system is that it has the ability to mix and match whatever you want to do. So if you guys have been waiting for this to drop, now is the time you can scoop those up. These will eventually come in a bunch of colors and they'll be readily available, but they're very, very difficult to make. So you're gonna see them in very small quantities in the beginning. So definitely scoop them up. If it's something that speaks to you, those are available now. Okay, Jeff, we're going to rods. There's some new rod drops, port and restocks. Orion. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you take a sip in a while. Well, I finished it. No, you didn't. Holy shit, everyone. Jeff finished a beer. You want another one? No, I'm drunk. I could barely keep this camera still right now. Yeah, relax, guy. It's on a tripod. <laughs> All right. A lot of you guys have been asking about these rods coming from Mega Bass. So you guys know we're huge fans of Destroyer P5, right? So Mega Bass took P5 Tech, expanded it into 
the sea bass realm and created a line of rods called Kukai. So Kukai is technically part of the P5. They are beautiful rods and we see the official launch happen now. Now these are gonna be extremely limited. These are gonna be really, really hard to get. So again, if any of these look great to you, let's scoop them up. So we bring to you today one casting model and two spinnings and I'm gonna fly through this. Now, this is the casting model that we have. This is a 710 EXHC. So it's a 710 extra heavy cast, okay? You see it's got big foam grips. This is designed for throwing swim baits and big hard baits. Now, even though it's designed as a sea bass rod, right? Sea bass, largemouth bass, is there any different, right? Eh, same thing, kind of. I mean, you're throwing the same baits, right? So if you know the Mega Bass line, you know they build ice slides in freshwater colors and saltwater colors. You know they build mag drafts, freshwater colors, saltwater colors, right? So it's it's all going to be applicable. So you're going to get a nice soft bend at the tip. So you're going to get a lot of great load out of this thing. And it's, I mean, crazy, crazy light, right, Jeff? I mean, it's a seven foot ten swim bait rod. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just kind of ridiculous. Ridiculous. For what, what it is? Ridiculous light. Uh, that it's a 710 rod mm -hmm. and it's this light yep. and it feels like, yes, it's a part of the P5 lineup. Yeah. Because I expect that from a P5 where it's extremely light. Yep. So this guy is rated to 150 grams, right? So using basic math, about five and a half ounce. So you're going to be able to throw the majority of hard baits that you could imagine throwing. Now, all the Kukais are two piece. Okay. So they're all gonna be ferreled in the middle. So if you guys need a rod that you can travel with, right, or to keep in a car, you can unferrel them all in the middle, So which is great. So there you go, there is the casting model. I think you guys will find, it's just super dope. So I'm really excited about this one. So that one is available. And then we see two spinning models drop. So here's a look at the spin. So you've got a little more tapered foam in the front, okay? They're sticking with that kind of carbon contour grip up top, but it's gonna taper down into foam a little bit as well. I almost wish some of the freshwater rods would have that grip, but mm. you know, it's it's dope. And we're gonna see a lot of things kind of cross over and transform, but this guy here, this is a CK96MS, so nine foot six, 40 gram rod. Again, it's gonna be a two piece. This guy is designed for surf fishing. This is designed to throw a Halibut 90, an X80 Magnum, right? Those saltwater jerk baits into the surf. Uh, it's got a lot of bend to it. So if you guys are surf fishing and just looking for a long rod that can keep the line up and over the waves, this one is super dope. It's not a drop shot rod? I mean, you might as well drop shot with it, <laughs> right? Griff should definitely Ned rig with that yes. rod. He'd catch as many as he could on any other rod. A normal size rod for drop shot oh. or free rig oh, or jerk darn. bait or whatever you want to do. Shoot. Okay. Here's a look at the CKC 72 MS. So it's a 72 medium, again, 40 gram max. This is going to be part of their Gulf series. So they have a surf series, which those first two were in. This is part of their Gulf series. So more still water. So more like fish in a bay, right? Fish in a lake something like that. So this guy's gonna have more of a traditional fast action. It's a beautiful taper to it. I think you guys will love this, whether it's saltwater or freshwater. Again, if you're looking for a two piece in a P5, this is your only option. They don't make P5s in any other type of travel rod. So this could be super dope. You could easily throw a free rig on this. You could throw a drop shot. You could throw all your normal finesse stuff on there and it's super sexy. So there you go. Brand new Kukai rods from Mega Bass, available now. All right, guys, huge restock in Orochi, both in double X and triple X. So I know a lot of you guys love Orochi, and it's gonna highlight some of the key ones. Rods like Perfect Pitch, Diablo Spec R are back. Also, Leviathan is back. This is the big eight foot swim bait rod. This guy returns two to eight ounces. This is just a great, you know, all around use swim bait rod. It can do so many things. You can throw a mag draft, you can throw an ice slide, slide swimmer, all that stuff. So those return. We also see the Jerkbait Special come back in just in time for spring. So if you guys have been waiting on great Jerkbait rod, this one's perfect for 110 sized baits and up. So the plus one, plus two, Edo Shiner, all work great on that. 
We also see a return in triple X travel rods. So we see both the spin and cast version. So the spinning version, the Jade Python is back. The casting version, the Black Elzile is back. So these are great four piece triple X travel rods, one cast, one spin. So if you guys are looking for just like a multi-purpose do everything travel rod that doesn't break the bank, these are amazing. Those return as well. Also in the Orochi Double X, we see a return of the Whip Snake. So this is one of the most asked about rods in the Orochi Double X. Just a great all around drop shot rod, light line, nose hook drop shot. So if you guys have been waiting for that, those return as well. Carmen also just gave me three TS Destroyers that are back. Let's take a look, Jeff. I like TS Destroyer. I don't, I don't even know. Oh, I love TS Destroyers. Let's see what came back in. Oh, this is a Blackjack. Hell yeah. Blackjack returns. Are these big restocks or small restocks? Pretty small. So if you guys have been waiting on any of these, definitely grab them. Likely, this is probably the last of the TS Destroyer we're going to see until end of summer, unfortunately. Okay, so Blackjack, you guys know I talk about this rod a lot. 7-Eleven, great for, you know, anything like one to six ounce. This is a great one. So those return. What do you think this one is, Jeff? Uh, that has to be a po no. It's pretty light. Casino? Poker? Poker casino? It's a blackjack. Oh. A we have two down. blackjacks. Nice. All right. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. this is a blackjack too. No, that's got to oh, be. Oh, this is def this is a poker. Poker. Yeah. yeah this is light. <laughs> Here, this king right there. I see a king. Oh yeah, yeah. poker. <laughs> All right. So, poker's return. So, you guys know I talk about this one as well. 72. This is a great frog rod. Pitching rod, uh, just so many things amazing well, but honestly, the sickest frog rod I've ever used. It just walks a frog so good. And then the king of back rack also returns. Just wasn't quite as dramatic without taking it out of the sleeve. But there you go, king of back rack. This is a great one. So five to 15 ounce on this guy, but this is a good one for your next size up. If you guys are pushing beyond that slide swimmer 250, I slide 262, this can be a really good one for you. So. Those all return in limited supply from Megabass. All right, and finally, Jeff, literally the largest P5 restock ever. Ever? Now, if you've been hanging around our YouTube, right? We dropped on Friday an episode about some new models coming into P5. So, you know, the P5 line is one of our favorite lines. They are going to expand it now by seven more models at the end of the year. So yes, we have to wait 10 months basically, which is torturous, right? So if you guys watch that and you have questions on, you know, when pre-order is gonna open, all that kind of stuff, we'll worry about that towards the end of summer, early fall, when everything firms up. I don't want you guys ordering anything and then dates change, whatever, but right now it looks pretty firm that end of December we'll see those seven new models. If you guys didn't see that, Jeff will leave a link right here. If you guys want to check that out, there are seven more models coming. But in the meantime, we see a full restock of almost all the current models. Okay. So, and all these models are staying. We're just adding to us. So we're going to get seven more models this year. We're going to get two more models next year. They're going to grow this into one of the most diverse lines of high end rods we've ever seen. So, 110 stick. This is my favorite jerkbait rod. There is a new 110 special. It's going to come at the end of the year. I don't care about that. I am totally sold on the 110 stick. It's 6'5". It's amazing. It's so light. Jeff, you've used the 110 stick. Huh? What say you? My favorite jerkbait rod ever. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So if you guys will let yourselves fall into the 6'5 length, you will fall in love with this thing. It is so sensitive. Things happen so fast, even in big water and rollers and long casts. It just it handles so well. So 110 sticks, those return. Let's see what other goodies Carmen gave me. I don't even know what she put in my pot. No? Yeah, okay. it's kind of like the TS Destroyers. This one is back. The Siglet. So Siglet is a super dope BFS. This is the lightest casting BFS. If you guys are looking for just super, super light, it has a carbon stinger tip on it, so it's super sensitive, but it also lets you make some great whippy casts. Those return. The Landsat returns. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Landsat. I'm very outspoken about it. Some guys absolutely love this rod. We sell gazillions of this rod. 
This is designed by Mega Bass Japan to be their drop shot rod of the line. You can also nickel rig with it, smaller wacky rig. It's a beautiful light rod, 6'11", 16th to 3 8 ounce. It's just, I don't know, <laughs> you know? And, and look, I don't have to be the decision maker in everybody's rod line, right? So what works for you may not work for me, what works for me may not work for you, and that's great. That's why options are great. But if you guys have been waiting on the Landsat or you know you love this taper, this is back in stock. The Cliffhanger Thrilling. This is another super dope bait finesse rod in the P5 line. This one's a little faster. So it's gonna be more for like bait finesse soft plastics. Okay, so if you're throwing tiny little jigs or things where you need just a little quicker rod, the Cliffhanger Thrilling is dope. A rod that we throw a lot, the Pop X Stick, another bait finesse rod is in. So this is a great one for all your like 16th ounce, eighth ounce, quarter ounce type stuff, right? So even just outside of the bait finesse and more into like the more finessey normal rods, Pop X Stick is dope. Those return. 110 stick we talked about. The X Bites, my favorite jig rod in the line. This is back now. A lot of guys have been asking me about the X-Bite since there's two new jig rods coming at the end of the year. This thing is not going away. The two new jig rods are gonna be amazing. They're gonna be more powerful, more deep water jig rods. This is still gonna be the compact jig, finesse jig rod of choice. So that is back. Z-Crank l is back. I know Mad Bull's back. I, I mean, so if you guys have been waiting on to have tequila back rack, you guys have been waiting on P5s, this is the time to scoop them up. They're almost all back in stock. So enjoy, have fun. If you guys have questions, let me know. All right, my friends, that is a wrap. Cheers to you. Jeff, you beat me? I did. Hey, thank you, dude. It's great drinking a beer with you, my friend. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It was. Okay. Guys, if you have questions on anything at all that we've covered today, I don't even remember what we covered. I really don't. I've been actually. talking for by. a really long time and you know the beer. <laughs> if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I will definitely get to it. Jeff will leave links to the products. On behalf of myself and Jeff and Carmen and everybody around this place, guys, thank you for the business. Thank you for the support. Thank you for giving us time on your Sunday morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, peace. That's the end of our date, Jeff. That's it. Or Aww. is it? Made by <laughs> hand job. <laughs>